Ben here from 6.4. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on the proper way to wrap your ropes around your Float Pro ML systems and the proper way to mount your float on top of your mount so you guys can have a good day on the water. So first things first, uh, the Float, float Pro ML system was designed around International Water Cross Association guidelines uh, which requires 25 feet of one half inch rope. Um, so you guys want to make sure you're using one half inch rope and not smaller or bigger, but make sure you get a good rope that's rated for at least a 500 pound workload so you don't break that rope when you pull your sled out. Um, it's very crucial to use the half inch diameter because the mount is designed to eliminate binding at that diameter. So, um, First thing you want to make sure is that you have a clear path from the mounting point on your steering post or wherever you're mounting it to your mount so you eliminate any snags. Uh, when you go to wrap your rope around your, uh, around your mount, Simply start at the bottom and go around nice and neat. You don't need to wrap it too tight. If you wrap it too tight, you might have some binding issues. So wrap it nice and neat around, just tight enough so it doesn't fall off the bottom of the mount. It doesn't need to be uh, on there super, super tight. So you just want to eliminate any snagging. Just follow itself up around. You can go up to five inch mark because your float here is gonna use the top three inches of your standard eight inch mount um, to slide down on there. So wrap your rope coil up to the five inch mark. And uh, this, this mount is designed to hold 25 feet. Uh, and that will be two, uh, two thicknesses of the rope, two coils. So when you get your first coil done, you want to make a transition back down to the bottom of your mount and start down at the bottom again. It's very crucial you always wrap your rope from the bottom to the top. So when your sled is underwater or your equipment is underwater, it's pulling the rope from the top to the bottom and that will eliminate the snagging. So once you get your second coil complete, you're going to take your mount and clip it to your rope with the provided carabiner. And don't leave too much slack at the end of your coil between your coil and your float so you don't want to have any uh, snagging when you're riding or any of that. Um, simply slide your float down onto your mount. Now after you get your mount down, Make sure you pull down with a couple fingers on your cable tether to make sure you don't have any binding between your cable tether and your mount. Um, it's very crucial that you make sure you have good uh, loose movement here so when your sled's uh, underwater 20 feet, this baby's coming off. Um, the way you use these systems uh, is very crucial that you, that you do it properly as, as we uh, suggest so you eliminate any issues. We don't want everybody to have a bad day at the, at the pond. So. Um, as you can see, if you do that properly, when, you, when your float comes off, it'll pull your rope nice and easy from top to bottom. When you get to your second coil there, you can see where we went back down to the bottom, and it continues to come off nice and easy. So, If anybody has any questions whatsoever, feel free to email us over at 64 Industries, and uh, we'll take care of any concerns or any custom applications you may desire. And uh, That's it for now. Stay tuned for more.